year at making murders just want to, I guess, apologize? You know, for making so many. Binge Pipe would like to express its deep regret for investing in You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, we paid a creative firm two million dollars for this name. Hey friends, I'm Cookie Master Senior Host, and I am wearing a wire, so don't say any mop stuff around me. Read and weep, we got a full house. And the adventure begins. Start the game. Time for question one. First up, I'm pooped. Whose life can best be summed up as eat sh and die? Canis lupus, alligator mississippiensis, ursus maritimus, or scarabeus satcher? How do we do? <laughs> Scarabius Satcher is the scientific name of the dung beetle. My Aunt Carol lived by the same philosophy. At least that's what she used to yell at people while she was driving. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This one's called a nipple effect. Suppose I nickname my nipples the Duplass Brothers. What should I call my shorter one? Mark, John, Jay, or Matt? Hope you like what you picked. There's no easy way to put this. According to IMDB, Jay is 5'9 and Mark is 5'11. I went jogging the other day in a mesh top, so right now Jay and Mark look like they got the crap beat out of them. Why don't we do it with three? Here we have Ho Ho holding government accountable. And do you hear something on the roof going click, click, click? That's right, it's a diss or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's one of Santa's reindeer or a news anchor from CNN. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between Santa's reindeer or CNN. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. Prancer. A majority of you deserve my praise. But player six, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Binge pipe customer retention protocol has been activated. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. Binge pipe. Your loyal friend that's also a company. I don't need you anymore. 
Up next, having relations with nouns. If you hate preppy men, you'll love the only guy on this list who does not have a preposition in his title. The man in the high castle, the last man on earth, the man who... What's this? Yeah, player six just screwed everybody. Time to get social. Okay, who chose what? Oh, ouch. <laughs> who is not a preposition? The fact that it's capitalized should have tipped you off. Prepositions tell you the location of the subject, like I am the man between two ungrateful cats. <laughs> nice screw job, player six. Spend this wisely. Take a good look at Fresh Prince of Capitol Hill. Say Mr. Will Smith went to Washington, D.C. that is. What campaign promise would be impossible for him to keep? Getting jiggy on J Street? Going wild wild west on W Street? Just cruising on C Street? Or freaking it on F Street? Let's see how that shook out. Uh-oh. Washington, D.C. is the home to streets featuring almost every letter of the alphabet, except the letter J. Yeah, apparently George Washington hated the letter J for some reason, so no J Street. No, I, I just totally made that up. That's it for round one. Remember, these numbers also serve as your personality rankings. Currently, player six is in the lead. Down here. These players are negatively affecting our averages. Looks like someone needs a little more help. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You're doing so well, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. Let's try a very serious medical question. Irma Gerd, you have Gerd? Sorry about your feet swirling, acid reflux, liver disease, or er, to glurtin. What'd you guys pick? Sorry, no take backs. GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease, involves gastric or acid contents of the stomach coming back into the esophagus. And GERD germ earns course churn. Ma vie est un canard. Set. It's time for rebelling outside the box. Which boxer is being rebellious in the country that the Boxer Rebellion took place? Manny Pacquiao littering in the Philippines? George Look sharp. <laughs> Player one just let loose a screw. Didn't you say you wanted to change your name? What'd you pick? Oh, I'd spend a hundred bucks on pay-per-view to see that. <laughs> the Boxer Rebellion took place in China from 1899 to 1901. <laughs> I held my own Boxer Rebellion by going commando today. That screw is a good move, player one. Here's that cash. Oh, and it looks like we've got a name change. I'll, um, send this along to the DMV. We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like a question with nuts or a question without nuts? Pick an option on your device now. The choices. 
have been made. You have chosen. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Oh, here's a good one. A question with nuts. In which classic novel does the main character lose his candy bar, but not his peanuts? The sound and the fury, the sun... Oh, look out. Player 5 has invoked the screw. Oh, don't crane your neck. Let's see who got it. I mean, maybe if it wasn't a euphemism, but it's totally a euphemism. In the classic Ernest Hemingway novel, protagonist Jack Barnes loses his penis, but not his testicles in World War I. And I now no longer feel bad that my new car only cost me an arm and a leg. Excellent screwing, Player 5. This is your cash now. Coming up, this question will play on a loop on TNT. What would I scream if I were shanked in the shank at Shawshank? Stop stabbing my leg, Andy. Stop stabbing my abdomen, Red. Stop stabbing my inner arm, Gil. Or stop stabbing my butt, Rita Hayworth. Who picked what? Oh, that's such a Gil thing to do. That's right, sometimes you just have to choose the weirdest option, even though it's very obviously wrong. That's a shank to the flank. The shank refers to the leg, specifically the shin. I call this one pastel tights and oversized packages. Which is the only phenomenon mentioned in the Pledge of the U.S. Postal Service and the Green Lantern Corps? Heat, night, evil, or rain? I love this part. Yes, one of Green Lantern's primary foes is rain. That and, uh, sad songs. <laughs> Heat? And those postal service short shorts? Bring it! Ma'am, I don't know how to say this. Your blue apron box was claimed by evil. <laughs> Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of darkest night. Beware my power, Green Lantern's light. Or something like that. <laughs> of course, who can forget when Green Lantern and the postal service joined forces for the crossover event, Sinestro and the incorrect zip code. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I can't believe you went there. Time to figure out who went where. Good luck.
7's got it. Excellent job, Player 7. That was a close one, but you really did win. Miracles are everywhere. Just remember... You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm Brittany, and I'm one of the writers for You Don't Know Jack. I wrote the Erm McGird question, and I just wanted to say, Erm sir siri, er have a friend weird gird, and erts a serious deserves. Gird ers nerd er jerk. Thank you for joining us for this binge pipe bonus content. <laughs>